Hey everyone, and welcome to our Dancing from a Distance webinar on YouTube. If you were able to join us for the Zoom call, that's awesome, and I hope you had a great time. If you're watching this for the first time, though, there are a few things you need to know. Because of copyright claims, you'll notice the music is not included. We will use a countdown where we'll say three, two, one, click. On that click, you should click the music as well. What music you're asking? Well, there's a link that's showing up right here, and you can either use that link to access our playlist or look in the YouTube description below and you'll see a Apple playlist and a Spotify playlist. The song that I'm using is Can't Stop the Feeling, one of my favorite songs. The next song you'll hear by Franklin is Happy Face. Then Kayla's Don't Stop Now. And finally, Casey's Baby. So when each of us get to the place where we count down in your playlist, you can count down as well and click play to start the music at the same time. That way you can keep dancing with us. Enjoy. Hello, 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 everyone. And we're so excited to welcome you here today to our Dancing from a Distance, supporting our students through a virtual movement dance party webinar. Franklin, Casey, Kayla, and myself are excited to welcome you here as we put on our dancing shoes or in my case, I kick off my dancing shoes and into our dancing feet and gather as a community and dance. We'll be learning dances to four different pop songs. And if you're live on Zoom, we'll play the music so you can dance along. If you're watching this dance party later on YouTube, you'll notice the music is missing. Instead, use the countdown to start the music at the same time from a playlist we'll provide on Apple Music and Spotify. Perhaps you were hoping to take these dances and teach them to your students. Perhaps you are here to work out and get your sweat on. Perhaps you are here just to have fun. Whomever you are and whyever you are here, we are thrilled to welcome you. So before we get started, I just want to mention a few things. You can definitely use the chat to talk with one another. And if you have any questions about specific dance steps that come up, or how the four of us teach dances to our students, feel free to pop those questions in and we'll get to them at the end during a quick Q&A session that we have when we're all recovering and having a glass of water. Uh, with that, I thought I would get started with our first dance. So you better have some space to move and space to join me as we take an adventure through one of my favorite Mouseketeers and a former NSYNC member, one of his songs more recently, that is a ton of fun to dance to. See if you can follow me. I sure hope you're following me. We'll see what happens next. Notice the hand that's crossing over is the hand that's on top each time. Try it again, and here we go. Bum ba dum ba da ba dum bum bing. Bum ba dum ba da ba dum ba bing. Bum ba dum ba ba da dum bum bing. Er, be Dum ba dum ba da ba da da ding. Dum da 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 ding. Dum da 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 ding. How do we do? Don't worry, we'll keep practicing. Dun 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 dun. Ah. Dun 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 dun. Ah. Notice both my hands end on the same side of my body. Then they swing the other way. Circle around. Circle around. Let's add something and try it again. Circle around. Circle around. Notice just a little side sachet during my circle around. Circle around. Circle around. Ding ding. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Notice I start with my hand stretching across my body, and then I come back open. 
First it's close, then open, then close, then open, and da 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 close, then open, then close, then open. Mm -hmm. Feeling pretty good about that? Last thing to add for our first level for this dance, because we're going to come back to it at the end and see if we can level it up. As one of my favorite work colleagues would say, what if we could also try this? Now notice what I add here. Dun, dun, dun. Down, then around. If you notice the pattern, this one hand that starts down is the direction that I'll be turning. Down, then it's up, then I turn toward the down. Down, other side, up, then turn to the down. Those are all of the steps that we need to put this dance together. Now, you might have said, oh my gosh, that happened way too fast. That's okay. We're just gonna have fun and dance. And then you can go back and watch this later as many times as you like. So I'm gonna get the music started and let's get going. <laughs> I'm starting the music in three, two, one. Click.
Nice job, everyone. Woo woo, give yourself a pat on the back. What fun that was. Grab a drink of water. You have about 10, 20, 30 seconds. If you have any quick questions, put them in the chat. And then I'm gonna be passing it off to Franklin. So grab that water now. Okay, Whew. now I do wanna share a little bit about Franklin while he's getting set up. Franklin J. Willis currently serves as the elementary music coach for the Metro Nashville Public Schools District. For the past decade, Franklin has taught both general music and choir at the elementary and middle school levels. He is a three-time recipient of the prestigious Country Music Association Foundation Music Teacher of Excellence Award. Woo-woo, Franklin! He specializes in providing musical instruction that will empower and engage all children to achieve their best through authentic, culturally relevant teaching experiences. He's a graduate of the University of Memphis, where he earned his bachelor's of music education with an emphasis in choral music. He also earned the master of education in nonprofit leadership at Belmont University. Franklin, take it away. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Everybody give it up for Matthew. That dance was everything. Just wait till level two, Franklin. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, my name is Franklin Willis, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a song called Happy Face. I don't know if you know this song, but it's by a very, very famous group called Destiny's Child. You have to be a really, 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 really old school Destiny's Child fan if you know this song. But the reason why I chose this song before I start teaching the dance is because of the words, especially in the times we find ourselves in right now. So the chorus says, I woke up this morning, the sunshine was shining, I put on my happy face. I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, I'm grateful to put on my happy face. And I'm not gonna preach, but I wanna share just a little bit more. Woke up and realized this world's not so bad after all. Looked at it through the ch a child's eyes and I saw these beautiful things that you never think about like the ocean, moonlight, stars, and clouds. It's amazing how we don't appreciate our blessings. There's plenty of people who don't like me, but since there are more who love me and I love myself, sometimes it gets tough, but I can't give up. Just take a deep breath, close my eyes, feel the love, and put on a smile. I wanted to share that with you all before we got going with the dance. So. The first thing you're going to do for the intro, the intro, you're just going to simply step, clap, 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 step, clap. That's easy. It's like a little warm up to get started. So you got step, clap, step, clap. I always start on the right foot. Um, I know we're doing the online thing. It may look a little different, right? So then the next thing that I do is it's a move that LeBron James does. I don't really know what to call it, but it's after he hits a big cool shot, he does this. So your kids may know it even though you don't. So all you're doing is, let me put the camera down just a little bit. You're stepping up and pushing down. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. You got four of those. So can you do that with me? Ready, go. One, two, three, four four right so i woke up this morning the sunshine you know we love the sunshine the sunshine was shining and then you're gonna do step snap step snap step snap step snap so i'll do that all over again i woke up this morning the sunshine was shining i put on my happy face right then the next part, I'm living, you're going to make big muscles. I'm able, you're going to point up to the sky with the pointer finger. So you have, I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, you're going to put your hand on your heart. If you hip hop, you can give us a little of that. If you're not, you can just put your hand here. So I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, I'm grateful. So you're gonna take a, put your hands together and take a bow, right? So let me do that again. Um, 
I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, I'm grateful, put on my happy face. I know you think, oh God, that's a lot. It's not that much, I promise. Once the music goes. So can we take it from the beginning? So we got the intro, the step snap, the step, step clap, step clap. I want to take it from here. Ready, go. Woke up this morning, the sunshine was shining. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed up. Start again. Ready, go. I woke up this morning, the sunshine was shining, and put on my happy face. I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, I'm grateful. Put on my happy face. So when you get to the verses, good job, by the way. When you go to the verses, this is the easy part of the dance. All you're going to do is right, 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 clap, left, 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 clap, forward, 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 clap, back, 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 clap. Are you with me? Let's do that one more time. To the right. Ready, go. Right, 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 clap. Left, 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 clap, forward, 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 clap, back, 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 clap. Now, I'm going to have to point my camera down so that you see this next part. The next part, you're going to jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, and stop. OK? Try it again with me. Jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, and stop. Then this right leg is going to go right and left and turn around. Can I do that again? Jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, and stop, and right and left, and turn around. Wow. Okay? Are you with me? Stay with me. Now, can we do that whole thing? Starting to the right. Ready? Go. Right, right. Right, left, 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 forward, 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 back, back, back. Jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, and stop. Right foot, left foot, and turn up. Do it again, right, and clap, left, and clap, forward, and clap, back. Uh-huh, jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, and stop. Right foot left foot, and turn around. And then after you do that, remember it goes back into, I woke up this morning, the sunshine was put on my happy face. I'm living, I'm able, I'm breathing, I'm grateful, put on my happy face. <sighs> I'm tired already, y'all. Ready to do it? We're gonna do it with the music. And we're going to jam out. If you mess up, keep going. Here we go. And three, two, one.
Great job, my people, my people, my people. It is a fun, fun song. Um, happy face. Thank you, Matthew, for having me. I hope y'all are sweating because I show sure am sweat. But up next, let me make sure I stop sharing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Franklin. What fun, what fun. Thank you. What fun. All right. So now we have even more in store. <laughs> Get that water bottle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see people getting water. That's good. Yes. And while you're getting water, I want to introduce our next presenter. Kayla Collier is the music and art specialist at Cochran Elementary in Louisville, Kentucky. This is her seventh year teaching. As a passionate member of AOSA, she is the vice president elect of the Kentucky Offshore Association. She has her offshore level two and recently had an article published in the Orf Echo about using movement in the classroom. And she is ready to dance and create with you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Kayla Collier. Thank you, Franklin, and thank you, Matthew, for uh, inviting me to teach. I'm really excited. Uh, so the dance I have for you is a, um, to Dua Lipa's song, Don't Start Now. Um, I first heard it on the radio, and I immediately thought, oh my gosh, my kids are going to love this song. Um, and I was right. So I played it for my kids, and they were immediately like, Miss Collier, what is this? So usually a good sign that I should make a lesson about it. Um, so my dance is really loosely taken from um, the game plan curriculum. Uh, it's called the Hanukkah Hop, which is also loosely taken from Deb Kukert It Loose, loose, loose. But uh, it's pretty easy um, and should be fun to teach your students, especially I created it really just for this time to try to bring them connection and joy uh, and get them moving at home. So we're going to get started. There are three parts to this dance, uh, and they repeat every time we get back to the chorus. You do the same thing, same thing for the pre-chorus, and same thing for the verse. So I want you to watch my pattern, and when you think you've got the pattern, join with me. It goes like this. One more time. All right, so that is for the, uh, the verse. Every time we get to the verse, you're gonna do that three times. Then we're gonna skip to the chorus. Chorus is pretty simple. It looks like this, forward, backward, forward, Forward, backward, forward, and backward. If you want a challenge, which you're music teachers, so you do, you just, you're going to change it. Instead, you're going to go forward, backward, forward, backward, then go to the left and the right. And left and right. right. So you might start with your kids, you might start with the first version and then add the left and right as they get used to it. All right, so that's for the chorus. And then going back to the pre chorus, I feel like the pre chorus in this song gets a little spacey. It's a little like the tempo doesn't change, but you know, the, the bass kind of. It's like really by four beats instead of half meter feel. So we're gonna do some slow mo. I want you to do your best slow mo unmeter. Just just some slow motion. Let me see it. Make sure you're changing levels. Sometimes you're high. Sometimes you're low. Sometimes you're leading with your shoulder. 
Sometimes you lead with your knee. All right, change it up. And then when we add it to the music, you're gonna make a big change every four beats. So it'll look like something like this. Yeah? Okay, I think you're ready to add the music. Now, we do have one part that's an instrumental break. During the instrumental break, you free dance it out. But I know some of you are like, free dance? That freaks me out. I don't know what to do. If you're not sure what to do in the free dance, I always tell my kids, repeat something you already know. Take part of the dance and do it again. All right, we're gonna start the music. And you're gonna start with that knee padding. Here we go. In three, two, one, click. you guys so that is uh my folk dance to to alipa's don't start now um, thanks so much kayla yeah. okay so i'm going to stop sharing my screen here there we go and i'm going to introduce our next presenter casey gorian and she is the pre-K through fifth grade music teacher and director of choral music at both Catherine A. Dwyer and Dennis B. O'Brien Elementary Schools in Rockway Township, New Jersey. 
Casey is currently the vice president of the Northern New Jersey Orff Schulwerk Association, and she is also a member of and clinician for the New Jersey School Music Association Elementary Music Division. Casey serves on the board of directors for the American Center for Elemental Music and Movement and is the course director for the New Jersey Performing Arts Center Orff Schulwerk Teacher Education Course. We're excited to have you, Casey, and let's see what you got. Woo, thank you so much, Kayla. Jeez, why do I have to go forth? I'm sweating. It's fine. It's, 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 it's going to be awesome. I hope everyone's having a great time getting some water, right? Staying hydrated. Oh, yeah. Hydrate, hydrate everybody, <laughs> right now. Anyway, so uh, my dance for you guys today, here's the thing. I um, personally am not a huge believer. Um, but my students are, for some reason. Uh, they are obsessed with Justin Bieber, uh, specifically his original uh, single, Baby. Um, I, my husband happened to find a version of this song by Dirty Loops that I find way more interesting. So that's what we're going to be doing this dance to today. Um, I'm going to switch to gallery view so I can see all you lovely people, because right now I can only see myself, and I don't care about that. Hey, if you can still hear me, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, awesome. Okay, your first job is to come up with three different poses, preferably a high pose, a middle pose, and a low pose. So right now, take a couple seconds, come up with your three poses that you can comfortably get in and out of. You got this. In any order you want, any three poses, and you can change them every time, totally fine. All right, I think we're good. Next thing we're gonna do, all of the verses are the same. You are just going to take eight step togethers that way. Eight counts, very tiny steps like this. One, two, three, four, dun, dun, uh, and stop. Now go back the other way. Dun, 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 and stop. Excellent. Now uh, I'm going to steal a little bit of what Kayla did because I wrote the same thing as her. So we're going to go forward, two, three. But instead of snapping, you're going to clap and kick at the same time. So you're going to go forward, two, three, clap, back, two, three, clap, forward, two, three, clap, back, two, three, clap. Now one other thing to add on. Are you ready to level up this movement? Yeah, let's do it. So when you're stepping to the side, what do I do with my hands? What do I do with my hands? You're going to circle your hands around your chest like this. Now my students um, know how to do the hearts because our school shows heart, which stands for honesty, empathy, acceptance, respect, and trust. So we all heart sign all the time. So if you want to heart hands, da, 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 and other way, da, 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 forward and forward, two, three, back, forward, and back. And the choruses are when we do our poses. So let's just try that out real quick. You're only going to pose on the nose. So, baby, 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 no like baby, 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 no like baby, 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 no. I thought you would always be mine. All right, awesome. Uh, next, there's going to be a slow moment, slow motion moment. There's honestly a part like this in every song. I, my friends and I always do the slow motion backstroke for that. But if you want a slow motion move however you want, now that you've had some practice with Kayla's, you go right ahead and do your thing. Um, next, there's a very long bass solo in this. Because who doesn't love a long bass solo? Most people. My husband loves them because he's a bass player, but what can you do? Um, so <laughs> first thing you're going to do, we're going to turn this way. We're going to go turn, two, three, and clap. Ooh, you look good doing that. Now you gotta go the other way. Turn, two, three, and clap. Oh, almost fell over there. We got this. We're gonna do that again. Turn, two, three, and clap. Other way, and stop. Now we gotta roll it up. We gotta roll it coming grow up. Bring it down. Other side up. Bring it down. Then we're gonna step forward, and while we step forward, zigzag clap. Now backwards. Start it again, turn, two, three, clap, back, two, three, clap, turn, two, three, clap, back, 
Roll it up. Other side. Now this time, instead of stepping forward and clapping, you're just gonna wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. However you wanna wiggle it out. Turn your bones into jelly. All right, the last bit we need to do, our last couple of poses for the chorus. My kids always like to end collapsed. And since we do have one more after this, try not to injure yourself before Matthews. Cool. Um, <laughs> but we are gonna end stopped. All right, y'all ready to do it with music? I hope you like this version. This is Baby by Justin Bieber as performed by Dirty Loops. Three, two, one. Not twice. Woo. All Let's right. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. This was super fun. All right. We are going to bring our whole thing full circle back to our dear friend, Matthew Stensrud. And so um, some things you may not know about Matthew. Uh, Matthew is an award-winning and internationally acclaimed elementary music and movement teacher and currently teaches preschool through fourth grade music and movement at Sidwell Friends Lower School in Washington, DC. Matthew has both a master's and bachelor's in music education and is an Orff Schulwerk approved teacher educator of movement. He presents frequently at school districts, um, state conferences, Orff and Kodai chapters and national conferences and loves sharing and dancing with fellow music educators. You may know him as Mr. S and you can find him as Mr. S Orf across social media on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. All right, let's give it up for Matthew.
Thanks, Casey. I, it's uh, going to be interesting to have to try to teach a dance after learning all of these other ones. I'm like already exhausted. So <laughs> I know you probably are too, but we're still going to have an awesome time. Uh, Franklin, Kayla, and Casey, thank you so much. Those were all really fun. And I, what I think is exciting about them is that um, they are all very approachable for our students. Uh, there's chances for creative movement in some of them, which is also wonderful. And you should always know that if, even if there's a dance that doesn't have those opportunities, you can always add it in and say, take, I, sometimes what I'll do with a folk dance, if there's a 32 beat section the students have some challenges with, we'll make it a creative movement piece, or they'll get to compose their own part of a folk dance that might happen there. So the same goes for these pop dances. You can obviously interchange some of the things or level them up or maybe level them down a little bit for your students, or, or maybe for yourself. Uh, so we're going to go back to Can't Stop the Feeling from Justin Timberlake and see where we can level it up a bit. So make sure you have some space. Oh, the workout is going to level itself up. You might remember from the beginning. But now we're going to do it a few less times. Just this. Then this. Try it again then this. Next, watch a change. Forward, cha-cha-cha. Backward, cha-cha-cha. Notice fists down here, cha-cha-cha with my shoulders and my knees. Uh-huh, from the beginning, here we go. Forward, cha-cha-cha. Backward, cha-cha-cha. Again, and and forward, cha-cha-cha, backward, wait here. Little change that next time. We come up to here. Hands interlock, one elbow goes up. Doesn't matter too much, but if you're my mirror, that's probably easiest. So this will probably be your right elbow that's up. This way, uh-huh, ba-ba-ba, then the other way, da-da-da, uh-huh. Feeling good about that? Da-da, 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 mm-hmm. Then, you might remember that from that spot in the song. Mm -hmm. Let's try all of that in here we go. Boom. Mm -hmm. Feeling okay? Forward, cha-cha-cha. Backward, cha-cha-cha. Then stop. This part we remember. And then it goes down, and then comes up, and then goes down. A little change, my hand that's coming down, that's the same knee that's going to go down all the way. So on my knee here, my hand is, this knee goes all the way to the ground, looking forward, and then looking down toward the ground. One arm comes across, stretching out. Other arm comes across, stretching out, comes all the way up into a circle, then here. Let's try all of that again. Then down, we know this part, it's great. This, and then down, my hand's gonna come to my knee, and down, wait, there, then, boom. Wait, here, then hand, then stretch out, then around, bing! Mm -hmm. You'll notice when I'm down here, dun, dun, da da dun, 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 da da dun, 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 shoo. Shoop. See all of those steps come together? Let's try that again, and here we go. Da, 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 and down. And up, uh-huh, and down. This hand's gonna go to its knee, down, facing forward, then here. Then stretch, and stretch, and da, 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 bing. Shoop, this part we know. Shoop, shoop, shoop. This part, a little change. We close first, but it's close, open. Just one of each, try that out. Close, open, try it again. Close, open, try it again. Close, open, one more time. Close, open, hop, hop. Add that part and here we go. Close, open, hop, hop. Try it again and here we go. Close, open, hop, hop. When I'm hopping, my feet are just doing little hops. You could bend your knees if you like instead of doing the hop, and my hands go a little paddle on both of them. So close, open, hop, hop. 
Yeah, try that again, and here we go. Clothes open, hop, hop, then punches while we step back. Let's try that again and start with the clothes. Clothes open, hop, hop. Just a side step with my hands changing. First to the left. Now when I hop back this way, hop, hop. Mm -hmm. So it goes, hop, hop. And notice how my arms and a fist go the opposite direction of my hops. Hop, hop, a little weird. Hop, hop, a little bit tricky. And if you have to go the same way, that's fine too. So we have hop, hop, down, up. Try it again. Hop, hop, down, up. Whew. I told you this was a level up, right, friends? Okay, let's start with the clothes open. Ready? Let's remember this part, and here we go. Clothes open, hop, hop, punch, stepping back, stepping back. Now when you do this, what if you could come forward a little bit at a diagonal? Hop, hop, down, up, forward, diagonal. Hop, hop, down, up. That's probably the trickiest part. So if we can do that, we're gonna be rock stars. A little change to the ending as well. You might remember it was just this and this, then turn. And some of my friends wanted to add this. And then this hand comes down and turn like an airplane. You'll notice your hands can kind of naturally make this the opposite direction. Airplane around and Airplane around different levels. How's your airplane changing levels as it's flying? You can make that as exciting and as intense as you like, or you can just do it, you know, a little bit more carefully, and that's okay too. Let's try our middle section, starting here, to make sure we have all of those changes this way, and then our circle. Ready? And here we go. Da 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 Close, open, hop, hop, back, 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 back. Slide, side, hop, hop, down, up. Side, side, hop, hop, down, up. Ah, I'm seeing lots of people dancing and I'm seeing that you're doing an awesome job. And if there's one spot you didn't get, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Go back and watch this if you want to later and just have fun. So I see that we're approaching the hour strike. So I think this is a good time for us to get ready and dance our last song. So grab that drink of water if you want, and we are gonna get this party started one last time. Okay. Whew. Countdown is starting in a moment. Music is playing in three, two, one, click.
Ah, beautiful ending pose. Woo woo. Ah. Okay, rock stars and pop stars. Uh, amazing job. Oh my goodness. I can barely breathe. But that's the way it's supposed to be, right? Okay. <laughs> um, a few things to wrap up. If anyone has any quick questions, put them in the chat. Um, I know everyone needs water and a break from <laughs> this. I think I'm going to need a full shower. So um, <laughs> I thought what we could just quickly do is the four of us will each share like 60 seconds of some things to consider when teaching movement and dance to your students. Um, I thought I'll pass it off to Casey first. If you want to share a little tip or something you always think about when you're teaching this dance or any sort of other dance, that would be really helpful for people to take away. Uh, awesome. So the things that um, I always remind my students of whenever we're doing any kind of movement activity is to be changing your levels, constantly thinking about how your body is moving, not necessarily what other people are doing, but it's okay to be inspired by the people around you. It's not stealing the moves, it's being inspired by them. Um, and always starting from something very simple, something known. It's the same way that you teach, go from the known to the unknown to the new known, right? So if you wanna start with a very basic step motion and then add crazy hand movements later, start with the basic step motion. Awesome, Casey. That's really important for people to know, for sure. But, you know, um, Kayla, what gem of wisdom would you like to offer everyone? Oh gosh, I'm not sure if it's a gem, but <laughs> uh, I would say that um, try to incorporate um, mo moments of choice. So there are going to be moments that you plan specifically. Um, but there should be some moments where kids have, uh, don't just teach a folk dance straight out of the book. Like let them, let them have some choice about it, how it should change. It's, it's an active piece of, of dance. So we should, um, be changing it to fit and use dances that kids like and that they, that they're seeing on TV and that they're doing. Um, I did notice one question, a couple of people, I think I answered it, but a couple of people were asking about the folk dance that I loosely based mine off. Um, so I, it, if you really look up Deb Kukurdit, this will look nothing like it. So by loosely <laughs> based, I mean very loosely based. So the game plan curriculum second grade has a dance that uses the song Deb Kukurdit in it, that uses a lot of those motions that I used those motions and then kind of adapted them and changed them to fit um, this song. It didn't fit perfectly with my with the song I wanted to use, so I took motions that somebody else created and I changed them to work with the um, with a song that I knew my kids would relate to. Um, so kind of on the same line of use movements your kids like, it's use uh, songs that your kids are gonna like too, because that's gonna pull them in and they're, it validates their culture and it encourages them to be excited about what you're doing. Absolutely. And you know, I think that's also really neat. And the kids get really excited when you teach a dance and then you explore it with a different song. Um, you know, I think that's really, that's really fun and special for the students to, so thanks Kayla. Franklin, what you got for us? Hey everybody. Um, for me, it's just starting and meeting them where they are. Um, many of our kids, while we're not watching, they're doing all types of dances and they're creating and they're on the playground, they're moving. Give them opportunity to create in your classroom. Um, I didn't have a moment in my dance where you had a chance to create, but an easy way to do that is every time that the chorus comes back is 32 beats, you can have them create their own movement there. So the whole class does the verses together. And then when it goes back to the chorus, you can switch up or you can do vice versa. Mm -hmm. Everybody does the chorus together and then let them have that time to break off. I guarantee you, they're gonna come up with some stuff that you never even thought of. And it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be groovy, and they're gonna love it. They're gonna love the dance even more because they had ownership. So build that ownership in the kids. And I'm gonna stop there because I'll keep talking. <laughs> That's a, such an important takeaway, Franklin. And you know, even sometimes I will get those gems from the students and then next year I'll teach the dance differently to the next 
group group of kids using the ideas that I that I learned from from our own students, which is really special to think about. And you're you're reminded of those amazing moments in class, you know? Yeah. I noticed a couple of questions that came up, so I'll, I'll share a quick few things. Each of us have written down the dance steps for all of this, so you will be getting that um, in an email as well as a link to view this on YouTube as many times as you would like after um, the session is over. So don't you worry about that. Um, when it comes to my choreography, I will often watch dance videos on YouTube of a song like this for like an hour and just grab little snippets of all of these dances that are really cool and coming together and then start, that's like gets my choreography brain going and then start to kind of um, meld them into to something that I think can work for our students. Um, as well as um, think about how you can level it up. So there's a number of ways you can process teach a dance. You could start by just taking each step in little chunks, like let's do the A section today, and then we'll freestyle or create or creative movement, different aspects of it that might be more uh, formed at a later point. Um, another way you could do it though, is to simplify it. So the first way I taught Can't Stop the Feeling, what could be a way that you could do it with even your fifth graders for the first week. Um, and then you layer in the, the steps over the course of the next two weeks. And by the end of that, maybe they know all of the whole piece. Um, and then for any student that some of those steps is challenging, they can always revert back to those, to those other levels. So I think that can be really helpful for our students as well. So I know that people are sharing so many awesome things in the chat and that is so exciting. But I also know that we are all really sweaty and probably need to move on <laughs> with our days. But I really enjoyed spending this time with you. And I think from the four of us, you know, these are some unknown and unusual times that we're in and having this chance to connect as a community is so important. So seeing everyone in the chat and seeing all of the friendly faces in these, um, in these gallery views is so special. So I hope some people perhaps grab some screenshots. Um, if so, please share with the four of us because it was really fun to be a part of that and such a great opportunity. Um, you know you can find the four of us on Instagram and on Facebook, and we're gonna include all of that contact information if you ever wanna re reach out to us for anything else you could possibly need. And stay tuned because you never know what kind of things were gonna come, could come next. I notice people are saying, we wanna do this again, we wanna do this again. So you never know, maybe, maybe that will happen. So <laughs> anyway, um, I know from Franklin and Kayla and Casey and myself, thank you, thank you, thank you for spending the evening with us and have a great rest of your day. So bye everyone.